we are going to do the stock crypto review. We are going to look at Ethereum, Bitcoin, the dominance on both, total three. We are going to look at where I think Bitcoin can go, some altcoins that are very interesting to buy. And if we have time, we'll finish with some stock review. So let's go. Let's go deep. Hopefully, everybody had a nice Easter weekend. And again, happy Wednesday live. Well, Wednesday live and analysis together. So we're going to get out of the accounts, guys, and we're going to review with the uh, power indicators everything. So if you missed it earlier on, I was telling the guys I was excited. We finally got our patent on the power probability power indicators. Uh, we have the design. We finally got the USTPO design. That only took two years for the U.S. market. We got the international before that. We did a little video showing you everything here. We're thrilled to announce yeah. that our problem. So check it out on the uh, channel when you are ready. So let's look at the Bitcoin situation. And I'm going to take the screener. I will look at the screener. I will do a screener review for best opportunity for the week if I don't have the time to do the stuff. Let's start the crypto review by Bitcoin. Okay, just Bitcoin and nothing else first. So here we go. I have the Bitcoin chart. You have the 2021 high right there. You know, so the 68. See the 69. See, this is 65,000. It's going to be critical. How many times can we close below this high from 2021? That's number one. Okay. Number two, you have the double top here from 2021 as well. Right. And this was roughly this uh, 69.3. So, Right now, if you look at all support and resistance line and edges, all of this area, 54,000 to the edge here of the 60,000 is going to be critical support. So 54, 60, which is in between those two white lines. So if it cracks this little flag, this is where I'm looking. And then, of course, you have also the trend line, which lands somewhere at 57. So, so far, the low has been 60,000. 60,000 has been the low, but there's a possibility that they get a one day week, like something very fast, right into the bull eyes here somewhere, right? Between that 53.5 and that 58. That would be like a Christmas gift. Because then, room. Where are we? We are coming back to the edges of the calculator. And I think I gave you last week 81,200. 81, 81,200 would be the rebound on the week. So, what are we looking for? I'm looking for this shoulder here. This shoulder is roughly 68.5. So, I think the signal of the squeeze is going to be that shoulder at that 68.5. So let's recap, recap the number. 68.5 is going to be critical. Then if they dip and break the trend line, we are at 57.5 to the 54, let's say. This is Christmas gift, a higher low maintaining the trend line at uh, roughly the 63.5. Is, is what's happening right now. We are maintaining the 63.5 higher low flag, right, on Bitcoin. So this, this is Bitcoin. You have all that you need. We weak down quickly, 57, uh, 5.54. Otherwise, we hold the 63.5, break the 68.5 on our way to 81. 81 is the double top of the calculator. We still have 76% on the downside. I would love to see a week with the interior market that scares the interior market towards the 55, you know, that 53.5, 58K on Bitcoin, and then on our way to 81K. 
Now, I have news for you. It is possible as Bitcoin stays sideways like this or down to the trend line or the target, it is possible that the altcoins are still going to go up and they, we will have a, 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 a dominance on the altcoin. So what do, how do you know that? Well, you look at total three, which is the market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, and I'm going to do two trend lines. I'm going to do the first trend line that was like this and one that is a little steeper. And you notice that the steepest trend line goes to the probability rule of third divisions right there. I think this division is going to be the support, which is also a box of divisions here that we have on the probability calculator on both sides. And I think the total market cap on total three is going to roughly go to 650, 650 billion. And that's it. It's going to complete here at 650 billion. And we are at 715. So it's not like it's a lot of drop. We might have that week at the six, write that down. It's very important. 650 billion dollar week on the box here. Look at the box. Look at the box. Cannot make it more clear to you. And look here, we are looking to buy this division support, which has worked here and has worked here, by the way. We want to buy that box. And we are assuming that the box is going to be like this on total three. So on the top side, you want a break of the total market cap of 670, 770 billion total three. So 770 billion total three. And here you want a support of 650 billion. It goes to the 650 billion. I'm loading the bag. I have about uh, three accounts. Uh, we have 20, 20 now. And I have four and I have 12. So we have about 55, 57,000. Uh, out of the 5720 is already on Bitcoin and Ethereum, so I'm not touching that. But there's somebody here I want to redeploy on some of the project. So which project? I have an eye on AVAX. I have an eye on ICP. I gave you this ICP project at 9. It was, it's still 18. AVAX, <laughs> I bought AVAX at 12 to 21. You know, it still is at for, around 45, 47. Uh, which project? I'm looking also at smaller projects like Sui, Dogecoin, also in case Elon, uh, Elon um, is going to um, integrate it with Twitter, Elon Musk. Yeah. A um, couple of projects like this. And of course, if Bitcoin goes 54, 58, I'm going to buy more Bitcoins. I don't think I'm going to buy a lot more Ethereum. I have 2.8 Ethereum. I think it's enough, but we'll see. And I kind of like the portfolio of X, ICP, SUI, Dodge, Bitcoin, um, and um, Ethereum. Uh, I have another one that I'm looking at for real asset is Ando on the... AI, I'm looking at where we'll find a support on rendered. And then on the storage, I'm looking at Falcon. Those took a bidding a little bit. So I'm kind of looking and having an eye on them. But those are kind of the play that I'm doing maybe with, with five to $10,000 account, no more. Most of the stuff are going to be Bitcoin, Ethereum, number one. And number two, AVAX, ICP, SUI, Dodge. Number three, Ando, Render, Falcon. So I'm giving you the bag. Now, I like to confirm usually with the probability power screener. So uh, I go pull the screener and look at the best opportunities that I can find on the crypto market using our screeners. So I'm looking at long-term investing. And on the long-term investment, I have ICP, which I own. I have Falcon, which I own. I don't want storage. It's a little project of uh, storage in Atlanta by us. I don't care about Cardano. I don't care about Super. Shiba might be a play 
for one thousand dollars. Yeah, Evox, I like. Uh, Shinlink might be a project two thousand dollars. Evox, we say no. Dogecoin two thousand dollars is fine. Arbitron, I don't care. CE, I don't care. You might have want to add some Ethereum. We'll look at the chart around the 3,000. Render, I have a 8.59 re-entry. I think it'll double. Solana, I love Solana, but I think you are too late, and I told you. I mean, I think Solana might still go close to 500, 250, but... I would not chase it. I think you're a little light. If you can get Solana 145, 160, then maybe a little bit of Solana. But you're too late. You have to think, I was buying Solana at 28 to 35. Uh, Sui, can I like the project? Stacks, yeah, I forgot Stacks is pretty interesting. So you look at the calculator, but like, what I like to do with the calculator is do like this. Look at the top green, opportunity and see where I'm going to do because then those are the highest return on the investment potential and then I cross here with the probability power indicator for exact entry and exact exit okay so this was our uh, um, crypto review the only thing I need to finish on is ethereum for everybody and then we'll go specific between stocks in crypto, we have about 15 minutes left there. So on Ethereum, I'm looking at the edge of the calculator to all very strong, but 3,300 is very key. If we break that, I'm looking at the trend line and the other edge, which is roughly 20, uh, uh, 2,500. So let me... I don't think it's going back at 2,500. And you've already made a head at the 3,080 something. So look, it looks like to me like they're forming a shoulder on Ethereum. And the upper target, I told you, will be around the 5,000. So I think Ethereum is calling. I gave you Ethereum at 2,100. So I'm giving you the, the pullback if you missed it. 3,080, if you are lucky, the round number 3,000. If it does break, it's 2,500, but I don't think you'll do that. I think it's going to hold, it's going to hold around the 3,300. I think it's going to do everything to hold around this 3,300 unless they break the 3,000. 3,000 is 2,500 trend line. And then you're shooting for the 5,000 area. I cannot give you more because look, if you look at the edges, the, the edges of the probability power indicator are on the 5,000. So I cannot invent a number like a lot of influencers call you call 6,000 uh, Ethereum. For, as of today, all I can call is the 5,000. So hopefully that was helpful. This was the crypto review.